Mindanao has suffered decades of conflict, which has caused prejudices between different religions and cultures. It has caused fear and trauma, especially with the children. The decades of conflict has actually caused a culture of violence amongst the people of Mindanao. I have always believed that for us to break the cycle of violence and for us to have sustainable peace, we should educate the younger generations about the peace building process. And I've always believed that another dimension to conflict resolution is to make every Filipino realize that they are a part of the peace building process, making every Filipino realize that they can be prime movers of peace in their own communities. She's one of the most passionate ladies that I've met in my life, if not the most passionate. And she's not willing to stop at anything as long as she thinks it's for peace. She's the type of person who would go all out just to pursue her advocacy. I've been working with her for a year now and so far I have really seen how committed and how passionate she is in the work that she's doing. For her, it's not work, but it's a mission. Art cuts across religions. Art cuts across cultures. Um, the main theme of our peace mural is, is that, you know, each one of us has a responsibility. Each one of us can contribute to peace. The projects she is involved in is something which really challenged me. She has uh, initiated a move to really bridge the gap between uh, the warring tribes in Mindanao. In my journey as a peace builder, I describe my mission as breaking the barriers between different religions and cultures, being the voice of the voiceless, especially those who have been victims of conflict and helping create opportunities for our people to live the kind of life that they deserve. This is what I would like to share with everyone, what I would like to share with the world. If we just practice peace in our daily lives, then our world will be a better place to live in. Peace!